It's, I guess it's kind of pretty if you think about it. It's not too bad. It's a little dirty. I just washed it. What the hell did I run to? like that at all. <laughs> Good save, big boy. Good job. How's everybody doing? Yes, I am on a Busa. This is a 09. Completely stock. Uh, he hadn't had anything done to it other than uh, the cosmetics that you see. He put some blue stuff all over it. It. Uh, I have only been on one of these one other time. I think it was 04, 05, and I didn't really ride it. I rode it around the block. I don't think I got it out of second gear. Um, this I actually have access to, so... My chin straps are well tight. I'm always in it up right there. But my impressions of it overall, I've, I think I've ridden this bike probably about 50, 75 miles, I would guess. Maybe a little more than that. Very smooth. The, uh, the motor is very, very smooth on it. It is big. I believe dry weight on this is about 570, so it's full tank of gas. It's over 600 pounds. Um, it really doesn't feel that heavy. Uh, when you're going slower, you can definitely feel the weight of it, but as you're moving and diving it into a corner, it really doesn't feel that heavy. It really doesn't. I've been very surprised with it so far. Uh, once you get it over six, seven thousand RPM, it becomes a totally different beast. It, uh, <laughs> it's monstrous, man. Uh, very nice. I like the bike. I did a vlog on this a week ago. Half of my audio was messed up, so I may splice some of that stuff uh, in there. But uh, I, I really didn't say much. It was just pretty much a ride. I was uh, riding it around pretty impressed with it. Um, actually did a little research. That's how I know it weighs 570 dry. Um, I had a hard time last week thinking of a, of a vlogger that actually rode a Busa because you really don't see very many of them. I don't know why Sapo didn't come into my head. I know Sapo rides a Busa. There's a, there's a guy in England. I don't know how much he vlogged. I've seen a kickstand video thing with him, and I know why he made it now, because the kickstand on this Busa is weird. It is. It, it, it's like it doesn't fully extend, and it doesn't go far enough forward, is what it feels like to me. Um, as you kick it out, it doesn't have enough forward travel to me. Yeah, Mr. B, Mr. and Mrs. B, I know he rides uh, gold, I think it's gold and cream and Sappo. Sappo's bike's beautiful. Um, like I said, this is an 09. It's got 7,000 miles on it. 
It's a friend of mine's. I don't know how long he's owned it. I think he just bought it at the beginning of this season. So, but I do like it. It's when you when you're driving it like we're driving right now, the street traffic, keeping the short shifting, it gets pretty good gas mileage. It really does. Now when you when you're ripping away on it and keeping the RPMs up six, seven, eight grand, it, it's a gas hog. I think it sucks gas faster than mine does. And mine's pretty thirsty when you're running it hard. This one, I believe, is probably a little thirstier. But Suzuki's been making these for quite some time. Um, I'm not sure the exact year they started producing them. I know they make an O. I seen an O2, so I know they've been making them at least that long. Um, I'll get a date and flash it up on the first year runs of these, but they, I, I'm very impressed with it. After the, uh, the years of making it, they have refined it. It's very, very comfortable. It is very comfy for as fast as it is. I do believe it's even classed as a sport tourer. <laughs> yeah, with clip-ons. <laughs> and a very, very aggressive riding position. Um, I guess they could classify it as sport tour. It'd be great for the insurance. I bet my insurance on this thing being classified as a sport tour would be cheaper than my Buell. I would guess because my Buell is classified as a sport bike. There's no sport touring about it. So this would probably be a little cheaper on my insurance. Am I thinking about getting one now? No, I need a V-twin, or a, not a V-twin, but a cruiser. I need a cruiser first. So my wife can ride behind me. I'm getting into riding. She never really, her ex-husband had a motorcycle. She said she really didn't like riding on the back of it. It was a smaller bike, so it really wasn't that stable to begin with. And I think that's what freaked her out. So I, when I had that Honda Shadow, I took her out on it, and she actually liked it. So I'm thinking Yamaha Bolt, something like that. I like those motors. And uh, then I'll have a cruiser. And then after that, I'd say give it a year. Yeah, I'll start looking for a used one of these. I'd pick one up. I like them. It is not a bad bike at all. And it's a lot more comfortable than that Jixxer 1000. I know that, I do believe the Jixxer 1000 will run right with this thing up until it gets up into uh, the top reaches of fifth and sixth gear. I am pretty sure that Jixxer 1000 will run right next to it. My bike, my 1125R, feels like it's got a lot more pull to it from, I don't know, from a standstill up to 100 and 120, I would guess, 110, 120. Uh, and then I believe this thing would just scoot right by. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like it. I would own one. I wouldn't have any problems owning one. It's a very nice bike. It is a little heavy, but it, like I said, it's comfortable. I mean, I could I could ride on it forever. I don't like these hand grips. They have a weird, it's made for grabs. You can grab at it, but it actually cuts into my finger and it makes my, makes my brake finger go numb. So that I'd change. But other than that, very, very comfy bike, man. Very comfortable. That's how you pass on a booster. Yeah, this thing does have a little bit of balls, man. I hate this tank bra thing he's got on it. Man, it's stupider than hell. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna air that Dale so you can see that, because I think this thing is just silly. I go 60 mile an hour and it flaps up into my crotch. Come on, man. But like I said, very comfy. It it handles like 
as you're traveling at speed, like here, I mean, it handles very, very well. It doesn't feel like it weighs as much as it does. I can flick it around. When I get to the, if I'm going on some switchbacks, I can feel it as I'm yanking it up in the air. When I counter steer it over from being on one side to the other, you can feel the weight of it. But it's not bad, it's very manageable. The motor's very smooth, so you can actually control it with your, with with the throttle. Uh, it's, I like it. It's a lovely, lovely piece of engineering. I have ridden the uh, the big ZX14s. That bike feels heavier than this bike, and from looking up the stats, it's not. I think it actually weighs four pounds less than this bike. If you compare them year to year, 09 to 09, this is an 09, and the ZX14 I rode was an 09. The cow is actually four pounds lighter, but it feels heavier. I don't know why. It just feels like a heavier bike. I think it's faster. It's got more pull on a straight, but I've, uh, in my opinion, I don't know. I'm sure both camps would argue that theirs is better. I think this would be better on the track and the ZX14 would be better on a straight. This would be better on the twisty track, the ZX14 better on a drag. That's my thought on it. Now the ZX14 did handle nice. Uh, it, it handled lovely. It just felt heavier than this bike. It was harder to get through a corner to me. It just felt heavier and not as precise. This thing feels pretty precise. What a lumpy ass road. It's got big ruts in it. It handles amazingly well for a big fat pig. It really does. Second gear on this bike is pathetically stupid. I wonder if there's any bugs on there. Second gear is ignorant. I'll say it again. That is a silly, stupid, strong, smooth motor. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, goodness, goodness. Mm -mm -mm. 